Oh, I'm so excited that you're excited. This is all I have left though. My jeans for the competition to lose. Welcome to episode seven of Next Top Upside Learn. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm Peter. I'm Valerie. From Caracas, Venezuela. San Francisco, California. Mexico City. Johannesburg, South Africa. Detroit, what up yo? And I am. And I'm. And I'm. I'm the Next Top Upside Learn. I'm your host, Angelina of Blueprint DIY, where I teach you how to remake your clothes to be just as unique as you are. It's time to go all over the world and share the stories, the journeys, and the upcycles of other creative people. But there's a twist. This is a competition where each contestant gets one week to complete the ultimate upcycle challenge. You'll vote for the winner, and this season is all about okay. denim. Let's do this. So make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss an episode or the opportunity to vote to crown the next top upcycler. Last week's contestant was Valerie, a busy mom from Colorado. Upcycling, crafting, and sewing is what she loves to do, so she lets the whole family join in. And she loves color, so she created this beautiful dress out of colored and tie-dyed denim. If you missed our episode, definitely go back and watch it after this one. Now, let's head over to the Midwest to meet Gina. Hi, I'm Gina. I'm 44 years old. I'm born and raised in Detroit, still here. And I am the next top upcycler. I'm a mom of three beautiful children. I'm a woman welder. I met my spouse, may he rest in peace, here in Detroit. I met him actually working at a clothing store and we were together for so many years and he had to get a heart transplant. It was very successful. Unfortunately, he ended up passing away right before his fifth year anniversary. But we were blessed to have two children from that um, transplant and they're thriving, they're doing well. And you know, we're just taking it day by day, giving, loving on people. That's what we love to do around here. I was introduced to sewing uh, when I was little by my granny, probably a little kid, I don't know how old, but I. Did not understand why this lady was showing me how to sew because I was not interested. And so she actually, unfortunately, ended up being a single mother. And so she told me, she was like, as a woman, this is something you need to know how to do. She made her kids underwear, their school clothes, church dresses. She wasn't going to spend the money in that direction. She was going to spend it on food and shelter. So she made their clothes, everything down to the socks. And unfortunately, once my husband passed, I had to learn how to sew. So I would go to the thrift store, take pieces apart, and basically self-taught myself how to sew. It was very intimidating, but I'm glad I stuck to it because I actually love sewing. I can sew every weekend, every day. I actually skip dates to stay at home. So <laughs> don't tell anybody. I do. So with upcycling, originally I started as a way to connect my kids to my husband because I was using everything that was his. I literally had three spools of thread. One was yellow, one was red, and one was purple. And just, you know, I'm looking at it like, oh, this looks terrible. It doesn't match. And so many people thought it was so cool and funky. So I started doing it with his clothes, like making my daughter dresses, making my son ties or bow ties just to wear like to his honor assemblies so he was with them at all of their special occasions and actually welding is very very similar to sewing it really is it's just fire in welding i actually went to a high school where they taught us welding i actually flew planes for a little while and when my husband passed i ended up losing my job i got laid off and so of course i'm going through my head like girl what can you do and just on a flight with me and my cousin, she, she saw an article and said, hey, you know, there's a program here. And when they reached back out, I jumped on it. And then being a widow, a lot of my friends didn't really, you know, know how to connect with me. And so upcycling, it was like a mirror image of me. Like people are throwing away these clothes, getting rid of stuff, where it's just like, polish it up, change it, you know? And that, and that was, it was like, I just became a love. I didn't even know the word upcycling. Honestly, I did not know the word. I'm just like, I'm just redoing. And I can't even imagine me not upcycling. I, I really could not. I don't even go shopping really. I go through my closet or a thrift and each time everyone's like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> So for 2020, I see these masks, a few friends reached out and said, oh, you should do this. And I said, well, if someone asked for one, I definitely would make it. But I made some for me and the kids and a couple of friends. 
And long story short, so many people reached out. I couldn't say no. So for me, it was like I still had something to give in the middle of a freaking pandemic where I could have been depressed. I could have been, you know, like, oh, my, woe is me. That just gave me purpose. So that was like the coolest thing. That was so dope. I would definitely say my children, but it has to be my cousin. My cousin, Kiwana Thomas. Hey, Kiki. She had bought a pair of jeans where someone ripped them up, but they literally just put some cuts in it and charged her a lot of money. And so I had just had a new baby. I said, leave them with me. Let me play with them. And she was just like, you have a gift. So she would send me pictures like, can you do this? Can you do that? And just the journey where she's always like pushing me out of my comfort zone, you know, encouraging me. So Kiwana, I want to tell you thank you. If you wouldn't have pushed me 20 years ago, which is crazy, um, I wouldn't be sitting here today. You could have went anywhere, but you you chose to stick with me. You even showed up tonight. So just thank you. God bless you. And I can't wait to see your adventures on your new journey. Love you. All right. Hi, Gina. Are you ready for the ultimate upcycle challenge? Hi, Angelina. A little bit. I'm 50-50. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> Perfect. That nervousness never hurt anybody. So can you show us your before pieces, like your jeans that you're going to upcycle? So these are, <laughs> these are actually my work jeans that I used to weld in and paint. And it worked. My butt ripped out of but I love that they're polka dots, so that's why I kind of want to use them. It's awesome. And then I have two denim jackets that I got for a steal at the Goodwill. And then this one, I just love it because it's so much fabric. So what are you going to make with your pieces? So I have a half of the ja it's a jacket with a peplum. Half of the jacket has all these flowers, so I'm going to cut out flowers and butterflies and it goes all down the sleeve then the other side is lacy so that's where i'm gonna do like dark to light if that makes sense yeah and then it kind of has a mandarin type color it's very regal so. awesome you're gonna be royalty yes <laughs> <laughs> so what inspired that idea like what made you want to do that um because i guess you can say like a warrior is awakening in me um, I used to be kind of a shy person and since doing different shows and, it, you know, putting my clothing out there, it's just waking up this regal that's all out the box. So. <laughs> nice. I love it. So um, what is your d design process? So how do you go from a thought in your head to actually starting to cut the jeans? When I see the denim, that's when the design starts. It's like I automatically see it as something else, if that makes sense. What do you hope to have accomplished by Wednesday when I talk to you? Ooh, <laughs> at least the outside, you know, the, the silhouette of it and definitely the peplum. Because sometimes I can produce an awesome peplum and sometimes not. I'm sure you got this. I, I'm, I'm rooting for you. I know you got this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Gina, are you ready to start this amazing upcycle journey? Absolutely. All right. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Hello. So very quickly, I'm about to take my jeans for the competition to lose. Yep, these were my favorite welding jeans. They fit me so well, but I think my butt, I think my butt, I think my butt getting big. Bust it. About to bust these seams out so I can keep all of the fabric as possible. Aren't they cool? And I even found this on the inside. I love stripes. They're so nostalgic. We shall see how it works out. Got paint. I worked in these pants. So to create this one shoulder look, I have this real nice vest. I'm using that as a pattern. You can't see, but I kind of took it a loose, you know, to kind of get a, a idea of seam allowance, but I'm giving myself a whole lot. Cause I know once I get on the mannequin, she's smaller than me, so I have to give it more edge. But I really like the bottom of this. So I'm trying to keep this cause I'm gonna eventually cut the curve of my picture. You'll see it got a nice little curve on both sides. 
And then I'm gonna attach this in a way where it'll go with the curve. I know it sounds real crazy. This is how I design. I can see it in my head. I hope I can execute it though. Hopefully when you see it on a mannequin and you see my picture, you'll get an idea. And plus I wanna save as much of the jeans because I wanna do the one sleeve, like so dramatic with flowers and all of this good stuff. And so I'm trying to keep as much of the jeans for that sleeve and then for the little peplum it's like a real slight super slight peplum so pray for me bye so i am i'll say maybe 60 percent finished with my design and i'm only huffing and puffing because i got a little irritating news today so just trying to work through certain things that's on your mind when you're trying to focus on stuff that you love um sometimes it can be challenging for me but i'm going to use that energy to you know finish my piece for the competition preferably it works out so far i think i kind of like what i see it's something different from what i'm used to being able to accomplish especially on first cut and first pin like I said, I'm a beginner. I taught myself how to sew. So it's 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 kind of interesting to see it, but we shall see. I guess any advice I can give anybody out there, especially working in your dream, I don't care how old you are. When these days come, let uh hit the fan. Just use that energy into your your business, your goal, your dream, your project. Because <laughs> Right now, I'm very irritated, but I'm about to just put it all into the jacket. So, pray for me. Bye. All right. Who made Gina mad? Okay, Upcycles, it's time to rise up and go help our sister out. Road trip to Detroit? No. I have a feeling that Gina will not be stopped. Let's check in and see how she's doing. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. So, Gina, how is everything going? Like, how is the project going? How are you feeling? <laughs> it's going. I'm feeling like I'm going to have to, I don't know. So I can show you what I have. So it's like a, it's kind of like a half jacket, half vest. Oh, nice. I, I still think on this side, because, and it's lace all on this side. I don't think I want to do lace. I want to do a different type of denim. Okay. Is what I'm thinking. And so I had enough jean. I was shocked I had enough of my jeans to even make a sleeve and the back. Because it's like it has these curves when you see ah. the picture in the front and back. So I, I thought this was cool when I cut it that it came out with this curve. <laughs> yes, I love that. And I love, you know, I love that puffy sleeve. I know, I know. I was like, I have to do one. <laughs> I have to. I have to. She makes it look so easy. <laughs> And it was kind of cool. I had a jacket, this little jacket I got from the Goodwill. It has so many stains on it, but I loved the puffiness of it. Yeah. So I, I just cut it out and I took pictures of the pleats so I can remember. And it actually came out pretty cool. Yeah. So this is all I have left though. So I'm kind of nervous. Like, oh. I am yeah. impressed that you've come so far with one pair of jeans. Like that is one <laughs> pair of jeans. That's just that those polka dot welding jeans are <laughs> my favorite. Yeah. yeah, that is I was amazing. Like, listen, I was shocked too. <laughs> that is amazing. So let's go ahead and see your space. So this is like literally my space. It's oh. my little table. Okay. With, with my little brother machine that was gifted to me. One of my friends called and was like, are you busy? I said, no. She was like, look on your porch. And she dropped this off. And I love it. Wow. <laughs> so this, I can travel. Like, it's super lightweight. And so then this wardrobe, I've been wanting a wardrobe just to store stuff. So this is where everything goes. So you see all my thread. Remember, I started with, like, three things of thread. Now I have tons and tons of thread. That's awesome. <laughs> so I have tons and tons of patterns that I've kept. These three bags, you see, are all denim. Because that's my favorite. That's my favorite. And then these over here are all pieces that I've made in myself, upcycle pieces. Cool. So that's my space. <laughs> I love how you're using the space. Yeah. 
that way the kids can still function, you know, in the living room as well. And you're not feeling like, oh my God. That's yeah. so cool. So how much more do you have to do? Like, what is your end goal? So are you just making that one piece and then you're just going to style it with pieces you have? Are you trying to add other pieces? Like what's, how much more do you have to do? The sleeves. It's very traumatic, and they have, like, these flowers. You know, you, you can tell it's, like, fabric where it kind of has, like, a 3D look. Uh -huh. It comes from the neck all the way down. Okay. And I've done something like that once before, so I got to cut out. And I want to add butterflies because before my godmother had passed, she said she had a dream that we were in a butterfly field where it was oh, wow. blue jean butterflies. And so I, I found these little butterfly um little stencils or whatever and i'm oh, going to cut cool. out some and add them going down the sleeves you know to, to in her memory so cool. so, so that's gonna take me a minute because i'm sure i'm gonna have to cut out like 20 or 30 you know just to give it the the dramatic look so. yes yes it sounds like you have um things <laughs> under control but yeah, it sounds that way. <laughs> but you have a, you have work to do though because my plan is to at least you know, I'm going to try it on with the pins and hopefully sew this completely up tonight. Okay. I know if I don't, I'm going to be going crazy. I may even, you know, see if I can hurry up and cut the butterflies out and just start adding as many as I can. But I'm excited. It's cute. I normally don't do stuff like this for me, but I'm like, this is cute. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited that you're excited. All right. Well, I am going to let you get to work to make it okay. uh, amazing. So I will see you on Saturday. Bye. Bye. I am looking for just a little bit more fabric. I'm at the Goodwill. Hi. <laughs> so you probably can see the bags up under my eye. I am so stressed. These last finishing touches. Still having fun, but stressed. So, I don't know. Stuff not adding up. I don't know what to do. Pray for me. Hello. So I put a hidden pocket in the inside of my piece. And um, just trying to clean it up a bit. The hem that goes around the front part is not catching. I don't know if it's a little big, but I wanted to have extra room inside. But it's not working out the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to attempt to redo it as a rolled hem and pray that this works so that it can be done in time. It's probably 12 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully I'll be done. My thread keeps coming out of the loop on my sewing machine. Wish me luck. So, would you like to be a contestant on Next Top Upcycler Season 2? Instead of waiting till next year, I would really love to start the next season in October, but it all depends on how this season performs. So, definitely subscribe and share this series with everyone on your social media so that it'll blow up and we can go ahead and start that next season. And if you want to be a contestant, make sure you're a subscriber because that's one of the requirements, as well as you won't know when I send out the call for contestants if you don't subscribe. It will go out about two months before the season starts, so definitely be looking out for that. And I hope to see you on season two of Next Top Up Cycler. So down to the wire, I've added my little pieces to, um, and I keep forgetting to add my sketch just because I gotta find it. Um, but hopefully I'll find it in time to submit. But I got a lot of my tiny pieces, which are these butterflies sewn up, sewn onto my piece, which is like a vest. And I'm contemplating on taking this pocket off only because up under there it has like the wash, the darker wash, but I don't know, I kind of like it. But I'm just about finished. I gotta do a couple of stitches here, there. You may not can see them, but I know when I put it on how it looks. It should have a 3D effect, but it also should be neat and in place. So these were a pair of my favorite jeans that I got for a dollar at the thrift store. And they just fit me comfortably when I weld it. So that's why I really, really like them. So far, I'm feeling better about my piece because it's very sentimental. Um, the butterflies represent my godmother who passed away years ago. She was the one who got me into wanting to do costuming. We used to make costumes and dress up, but um, right before she passed, she told me about a dream she had about 
blue jean butterflies. And my sister, who also passed away, loved butterflies. So this is a real sweet piece. And also by me having scoliosis, I typically don't wear things that will show my back. I'm now about living a life of transparency and being unapologetically me. So this is just, I would say a dedication piece to all the wonderful women who encourage me, who support me. Praying it all works out, it comes together. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, because I can really only do this in the evenings. So it looks like a tornado has come through. I'm finally done, and yeah, I gotta clean all this stuff up. Broke my little signage. Yep, that's all the stuff I attempted to use, didn't end up using my poor little sewing machine. Yep, that's my cover. Sleep on, slept on the couch till I got it together. And yeah, um, yep, that's my snacking. It's down to the wire. Wow, was Gina sleeping on the couch just to make sure she got finished? That's perseverance, and I cannot wait to see how it turned out. But you guys are gonna be the judge, so make sure you pay attention and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Voting opens April 24th at BlueprintDIY.com. All right, so let's see the final result. Hey, Gina. Hello, Angelina, how are you? I am great, how are you? That's the question. I'm better. <laughs> How has this like last few days been for you from Wednesday since the last time I talked to you? Up and down, up and down. Because <laughs> you know, you have it in your head and then you go to execute and you're like, oh, wow. Yep. Nope. <laughs> so, so like what, what was the hardest part? I think when I was trying to add other denim outside of the pants okay. for whatever reason, it just, it wasn't working out. And so I did add one little piece and it's funny, all of this stuff, all of the denim, I welded in. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like, what was this experience like for you? Like being on Next Top Upcycle, having one week and not even a full week. So like um, right. six days to do this. What has this experience been like for you compared to what you're used to in your upcycling? Well, one, it, it tests you to see if this really something that I wanted to do because it was a many a times I wanted to sleep and it was like, no, get up. I think I had Starbucks, McDonald's coffee all in one day, but it, it was like, I woke up and that was my job for that day. And I was okay with it. And so, and it, and it pushed me, it, it pushed me because there were times where I'm like running back to my comfort zone, like, just do this, you know, it's, it's your, and I'm like, no, it's time to step it up. It's, yeah. it's time to step it up. So that, that was kind of cool. And then just the frustration, you know, with me just having a week, I didn't have time to sit and cry and complain. It was like, okay, keep going. So that to me, I think, is going to be the start of a new discipline of we're going to stay focused on this even if it's not working just keep pushing until you get it done yeah then you know the next so i, I like that well, that's good <laughs> that's good i'm glad you found like a new rhythm um yeah. for your up cycle something that really works for you that's awesome so <laughs> i know that i'm not the only one who is waiting patiently but anxiously <laughs> to see the final look. So we're gonna share it with everyone in three, two, one. That is so amazing. Good. Okay, so let me see the back oh, the again. Back. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. And that's like really thank something you. I've never seen before. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> I, you know how you see certain things and like years ago, and I remember a lady had something similar. And I was like, man, I could never, you know, do that. And I just kept remembering like she had a whole equestrian look and I was like I love the equestrian look in fashion I was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it yeah <laughs> and I can see you did your butterflies on the sleeve like you said you were going yes. to yes and so this shirt um this came from a shirt that my kids 
So as you can imagine, for Mother's Day, if you don't have somebody that take the kids because your husband's not here anymore to buy your gift, I would have to take them. And so they always felt some type of way. And so this was the first year that they were able to go kind of by themselves and they picked this out. And it was just, Aww. it was, it was, it was more so because I knew it was important to them. I didn't care if they bought me something, but it was real important to them. And so it was funny. We went to the dentist and the younger two forgot their mask. Okay. So I had to rip my shirt up. And make mask. So I said, well, it's fine. It's, it's beautiful denim. I can use it over and over and over. So it was fine. Oh, uh, that, but that makes it all the more special. Your piece, all the more <laughs> special. And, you know, honestly, that's what mothers do, you know, that's right. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what, what we, we do. do. <laughs> exactly. And being able to use the rest of it in a piece like this is just like cherry on top. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how has this process, um, you know, like what, what do you want to tell people? What is your message from your perspective to people about upcycling? Upcycling is, uh, oh, so many words. It's resiliency. It's it's very creative, of course, and it's, it's innovative. So I would say if you are thinking about upcycling, you're scared, just do it. Just do it because the more you do it, oh, man, it, it just, it, it feeds my soul. But it's something about upcycling. It's like new discoveries sometimes. Like I have taken things loose and say, oh, that's how you make that or that's how you, so I, I love it. I, I think I probably will be upside for the rest of my life. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Me too. So why don't you tell everyone why they should vote for you, Gina, oh. as the next top <laughs> upcycler? I think I... I embody what upcycling is. It's like a new start. It's a new beginning. It's a second chance. So for me, with upcycling, it feeds my soul. It gives me purpose. So voting for me will allow me to continue helping people in my community, teaching people in my community, saving money, saving our earth. And then you get to get cool things out of it. So vote for me because I am your next top upcycler. So let me know in the comments, are you team Gina? I have never seen a piece like this and it amazes me that it was mostly made out of one pair of skinny jeans. So if you're throwing away those old skinny jeans, don't throw them away, upcycle them like I've been saying. And definitely share this video with everyone on your social media so they'll know to come vote for Gina. And all the t-shirts that I've worn during this series are in the merch shelf down below. So if you wanna support Blueprint DIY, keep these videos coming, you can definitely support by purchasing the t-shirt and the tutorial for this and the other problem top I had on last week are right here for anybody who was wondering as well as a ton of denim upcycles from beginner all the way to advanced so go check those out after you watch this whole series i will see you next week at 9 a.m central standard time for another premiere of next top upcycling all right i'll see you in the next one bye